Hey Keys Mods fans, David Fine here, and we are going through our Mods of the Florida Keys series, and we're still in the Sphinx Moth category. And when you think of a Sphinx Moth, you think of a relatively large, fast-flying, um, hummingbird-like um, moth. And what you don't typically think of is a very tiny moth. In fact, today's guest of honor is the Groats Sphinx. It's actually the smallest Sphinx moth in North America. Guys, check this out. This is actually a Sphinx moth. Look how tiny that is. We are gonna talk about the Groats Sphinx. And this is not typically what you think of when you think of a Sphinx moth, um, but this little tiny moth is one of the most common moths found in the Florida Keys. We're gonna tell you all about it. So let's get to the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Guys, hit that like button. It doesn't cost you anything and it really helps out our channel if you make sure you like our videos when you watch them and um and comment down below you know we're going to go through all the mods of florida keys especially cool little sphinx mods like the groats sphinx let's check it out all right guys the groats sphinx cautethia grodii um i'm going to show you this little cool little guy right here uh this is not something that you would imagine was a sphinx moth. I mean, when you think of a, a sphinx, you think of something more along the lines of this Elo Sphinx, which is sort of a, an average size, actually a smaller, actually still on the smaller side compared to a lot of sphinx moths. A giant sphinx, like if you had a giant sphinx, you know, they're going to be out here as far as a wingspan. And the, some of the eumorphas would be in here. So that the Ella Sphinx is still considered probably on the smaller side with your average Sphinx moth. But Groat Sphinx is just way tinier than, uh, than even the Ella. So we, we would never think that this was a Sphinx moth. But it is. It's in the Sphingid family. And they're very, very common down in Florida Keys. I also have it next to some of our other um, more recognizable moths like the Io moth. Everybody knows the Io, and this is a male Io moth, average size, and it just dwarfs the Groat Sphinx in size. And of course, there's our Faithful Beauty, our channel mascot, way bigger than Groat Sphinx. Now, the Groat Sphinx, as you can tell, is tiny. It doesn't have those real elongated wings like uh, an average Sphinx moth would. Uh, it's got more of a shorter stubby wings, gray four wings, mottled gray color four wings. It's got the um, really cool orange and black two-tone hind wing, which really makes it a representative, uh, which really kind of identifies that species and makes it kind of unique. Uh, I'll show you the underside real quick. Underside of the Groat Sphinx, it's got that cool orange color as well. And, you know, these guys fly at night. So, oops. The, uh, the Groat Sphinx does fly at night, but we do see them quite often at flowers at twilight. In fact, uh, one of the best places to find them and actually video them would be in the, in, on the Eupatorium or the Christmas flower that comes into bloom in between Christmas and New Year down the Florida Keys. If you can find some of that stuff um, and you go there right as the sun is either coming up or as it's setting, you can find the Groat Sphinx uh, commonly nectaring on that flower. And so that's a pretty easy way to see them. So, you know, tiny bug and very, very, very common. So let's show you on our website a little bit about the Groat Sphinx. So... Cartethia grodii, the Groats Sphinx, um, they obviously, when they land, they land with their wings closed. So you'd never see that cool orange uh, hind wing, okay? They, we found them on every island that we have uh, surveyed and pretty much during every month of the year, actually definitely during every month of the year, they've been present, they've been there. And, um, but the, the cool thing about them is they're very, very local. They're only feeding on plants that are in the, the very tropical hardwood hammocks. Uh, so you can find them in Miami in the tropical hardwood hammocks there, the Florida Everglades. Um, you can find them in pine flats and the slash pines in Miami-Dade counties. 
and in, uh, also in Big Pine Key. Uh, host plants, they eat Chiacocca alba, and you know, we know them as uh, milkberry or David's milkberry, West Indian milkberry, or snowberry. And, you know, southernmost Florida is the range. This species is by far the most common sphinx moth that we have encountered in the Florida Keys. And we found them, like I said, on every island and every month. Anytime we survey, the groat sphinx is present and they've readily come to lights. So if you want to put out like your black lights or mercury vapor lights, you know, a lot of times there'll be dozens and dozens of them at the sheet. So, you know, a wingspan of about an inch, that's a tiny, tiny little sphinx moth and they can be commonly found there. We've never actually raised this moth, so that's one of my projects that I want to do uh, coming up this year. We actually want to get the caterpillar and, and do the life cycle, uh, but hasn't happened yet. Um, they, they will go to bait. Some, uh, I found them at fermenting fruit, and I found them uh, obviously on our black light sheets and our bucket light traps. Our bucket light traps, you know, you can open a bucket light trap and find a couple dozen of them inside of there. It's just a very, very common moth, and it's a fun bug to find, fun bug to photograph and video as well. All right, guys, hope you liked the video on the Groats Sphinx. This is one of my favorite little guys down in the Florida Keys. It's always fun to see him. And um, look how cute he is. <laughs> guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we are going to get you a lot more videos on the moths of the Florida Keys. And so stay tuned. And check out the Southern Lepidopter Society as well because they have... Um, it's a great group of guys and gals who study butterflies and moths in the southern United States. Uh, I've got the link to their website in our description. Love for you to join that group and uh, get to know some of our fellow lepidopterists. Uh, also, keysmoths.com. We've got a great website that shows you all of these cool moths that we found down the Florida Keys. And so, guys, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time, and um, we'll get back to our moths of the Florida Keys. Ciao. Take care.